for this Holy Mass to each and every one of us as a thanksgiving for all the graces that we have received. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known in more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azostus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me, 
When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Shall live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus said to the crowds. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, once again, good morning to everyone. Do you fear death or dying? Who would not be? Each of us still has re responsibilities and goals in our life. Some are still young, and the old ones want to enjoy the fruits of their labor or spend their days with their loved ones. Whatever the other reasons are, it is because we are not yet prepared to die. But the fact is, time will come, even the least we expect it, that we will have to leave this world someday or somehow. In our gospel today, Jesus said that whoever believes in, in him has eternal life, and that is the living bread that whoever eats it will live forever. This is the word of God. This bread is not other than the body of Christ we receive during the Holy Communion. This is also given to those sick people who can no longer attend Mass at church. If we regularly participate at Holy Mass and take the body of Christ at Holy Communion, we can feel the changes in our life because we accept Jesus in our life. We will overcome the fear of death, for we know 
We are with Him. We will not die. We want to share this good news with others. And therefore, we are entitled to let the others know about Jesus, to accept Him in their lives and for the blessings they will receive as they take the body of Christ. My dear friends in Christ, let us encourage others, your family, your friends, your co-workers, after this COVID-19 pandemic, to regularly attend the Holy Mass and for them to receive the body of Christ in the Holy Communion. My dear friends in Christ, I just want to ask you this question. After this uh, pandemic, COVID-19, where are you going first? The church, mall, to your family, to your friends? The answers is in your hands. Amen. Trusting in the generous and unconditional love of the Father, let us offer these petitions for ourselves and for the needs of the world. For the church leaders, may God guide their efforts in sharing the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who hold positions of civic authority, May the Spirit of the Lord lead them in serving their people with charity, justice, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle each day to feed themselves of their families, may God give them strength and lift them from their difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, May God grant us the zeal and faith of Philip as we announce the gospel of the Lord in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they see God in all his splendor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass the special intention of Edison Serrano. Those who are celebrating their birthdays today, most especially Paulita Pawa, and also for the souls of Hermine Hildo Katabay, Patty, Pinal, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners, those who are in the hospital, those who are dying, those who are sick, those who have cancer. Let us pray for them to the Lord. And we pray also to all souls in purgatory. Let us pray for them to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we bring these petitions knowing that your love surpasses our understanding. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. I am the bread of life, I am the hope of night, I am the door wide open, I am the shepherd's might, I am the truth and light, I am the way and light, I am Come and 
follow me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, grant we pray that, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, with our humble heart, all together, let us pray the Our Father. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And you stay. Quit all is pecata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay. Quit all is pecata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay. Quit all is pecata mundi. Dona nobis pace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. As we say the word. Once again, we are not yet able to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, but through spiritual communion, we will receive it. And pray this prayer, I am vaccinated by the precious blood of Jesus, and no virus can touch me. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have endured with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ended. Go and let us pray one another. 
The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever. You shall live forever. And I will raise you up. I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day.